Hello, today we've come to Sawgrave Manor. Yes, and Sawgrave Manor is the ancestral home of George Washington. We're really looking forward to this. Sulgrave Manor is in the village of Sulgrave, located between Banbury and Northampton, and is a mid 16th century Tudor Hall house built by Lawrence Washington, the third great grandfather of George Washington, the first President of the United States. A wealthy wool merchant, Lawrence Washington, built Sawgrave Manor in 1539 as a home for his growing family and as a sign of his wealth and status. His descendants lived here for the next 100 years. After the turmoil of the English Civil War, George's great-grandfather John took a trading voyage to trade European goods to Virginia in the US and buy tobacco to sell back in Europe. However, in 1657, before he could make the voyage home, the ship sank in the Potomac River. During the time he was delayed in Virginia, John met and married Anne Pope and went on to found a dynasty which would inadvertently set in motion the colony's independence. Meanwhile, Sawgrave Manor's fortunes declined under a succession of absentee owners and tenant farmers, having passed out of the hands of the Washington family in the 17th century, and by the 19th century, it had descended to the status of a farmhouse. By the start of the 20th century, the house had fallen into disrepair. The Treaty of Ghent, signed on Christmas Eve 1814, had brought to an end the, the British-American War of 1812, and in 1911 Theodore Roosevelt, the former US President, suggested a memorial to commemorate a hundred years of peace between the UK and the US. And so, the manor was purchased in 1914 using funds raised on both sides of the Atlantic by prominent citizens and philanthropists, including support from King George V. Mm -hmm. The house and gardens were restored by arts and crafts architect Sir Reginald Bloomfield. President Taft and members of the British royal family attended the opening celebration in 1921. The manor is managed by Sulgrave Manor Trust, an independent charity, existing entirely through the generosity of donors, supporters and visitors, and is a Grade 1 listed building. Sulgrave Manor is unique in that the property is owned equally by both Britain and the US. Hence, why both flags fly at the front of the house. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's been brilliant, hasn't it, Oh, Dad? yeah, and what a lovely day as well. Yeah, and we're ending it in these beautiful gardens. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.